What is up, guys? Welcome to a brand new series of The Long Dark. Today, we are going through the playthrough Winter Mute. I'm so excited about this. It's kind of set up in episodes and it's a story mode. I've been very excited to be able to dive into this as I just played a full 10 part series of survival not too long ago. Um, a huge fan of those simulation tycoon management games and you obviously have those uh, simulation aspects in this which is really cool so let me stop wasting your time and let's kind of hop on into this i have yet to do any of the episodes it looks like we currently have three episodes four episodes out but i'm going to start off with episode one and we're just going to kind of go through it uh, Mackenzie and Dr. Greenwood are separated after their plane crashes deep in the northern Canadian wilderness. Struggling to survive, Mackenzie explores the small town of Milton, where he begins to understand the scope of this quiet apocalypse. Boom, baby. Uh, for players with some experience and those looking for a balance between exploration and survival. Uh, wildlife is sparse, but you can seek it, but can seek you out. Survival elements are challenging, but resources are plentiful i say we just do capable survivor i did a 10 episode series we'll trust that i can keep that up but who knows um feel free to write comments by the way i read like every comment and i try and take some notes from you guys that was unbelievable i am actually that made me hyped as heck to play this series i am like so excited all of a sudden that was so cool i i am blown away that was an unbelievably cool intro here we go Oh my gosh. Whoa. Oh my. What a way to start the episode. I've never played this, so I'm going to try and go like pretty slow through this. And I also want to make sure I'm catching all the story elements. So I'll try my best not to talk during those so we can kind of pay attention and listen together. Joker. Seems about right. <sighs> Feels like another oh. record cold snap on the way. I'd better get a fire going before the pipes freeze up again. I'm also also going to try my best to uh, turn up and down the volume to coordinate with when they're talking. So like cutscenes and stuff, I'll try and turn up the... Uh, up the volume, of course, then on um, 
when they aren't like specifically talking i'll try and turn it down so you guys can kind of keep up with what's going on in the storyline but for now let me turn down the volume real quick and we will keep going let's start that fire you guys know how it is all right so we got 75 percent chance that's fine no accelerant on hand but let's try and start this bad boy very cute intro the fact that it's it has yet to kind of freeze over so let's start this up i love that intro man i'm like i'm like excited as heck is this more like like a telltales or no like i don't even like there's journals and stuff explore the hangar so let's go head out is this like a telltale i'm assuming not but I also don't even remotely know. Like, I wouldn't know at all what this what this is. I'm kind of just going to this pretty blind. I don't know if this game was a popular release. I have no idea. Those were better days. I I never played this game mode. The only game mode I've ever played and experienced was the um, Jackrabbit Remote Transport. Zero flights a day to the mainland communities and. Well, was anyway. the survival mode. I played survival mode when it originally re released ages ago. So I uh, I stopped playing it obviously for a while and now I'm back at it. And I'm just excited to kind of explore this. I didn't even, I honestly didn't think there was a story mode to this game until this new update released. And now I'm really excited to kind of dive into it. I don't even know if this is the DLC or not. It could possibly not be the DLC, and then you guys are going to tell me I'm dumb. But if that's the case, oh well. Well, here we are, old girl. Your best flights may be behind you, but you're still beautiful to me. And anyways, you're all I've got. I'd sure love to give you one last great adventure. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know the answer to any of those questions I just said. This could possibly not be the DLC, honestly. But I don't know. I'm assuming it is, but maybe it's not. I ain't seeing anything else here. Oh, do I need... Is it the... Cheap electric crap. Never works when you need it. It's getting pretty late in the day. I guess I could take a nap. Explore the hangar. You're cold. You're tired. Take a nap. Okay, let's go do that. Nap time. Nap time. Nap time. I think that's right out of uh, Blue's Clues. For you old folk who don't know what it is. And for you young folk, there you go. Blue's Clues. What could that be? Hello. Jeez. Jack Rabbit Remote Transport, Mackenzie speaking. I told her not to come up. I told her you couldn't fly in this weather. But what will you not be so damn Whoa, well, well, slow down, Maureen. What are you talking about? She just showed up. Said you'd see her. Said you'd fly her north. I know you need the money. The weather service. It's okay, Maureen. I've got it from here. Uh. uh. Hello, Will. What are you doing here? It's been a while, I know. Yeah. Years. I haven't heard from you since... I know. I know. And I wouldn't be here if it weren't important. Well... What brings you... I mean... Are you sick? <laughs> no. No, not me. But I need to get to someone who is. Right. So you're still a doctor? Yes, I'm still a doctor. I thought that after... Why are you here? I need your help. There's an isolated community in the northern part of Great Bear. Someone there is very sick. Great and... Bear? There's nothing there anymore. Not since... I know. But I have to get there. Still trying to save the world, huh? Somebody has to. What's that supposed to mean? Mackenzie, look, Will, I didn't come here to fight about the past. I need a pilot to take me somewhere remote. Someone who won't ask too many questions. Someone I can trust. Wait, questions? 
Astrid, are you in trouble? Are you gonna help me or not? What's in the case? See, there's that thing about no questions, remember? What's in the case, Astrid? No questions. Look, the weather out there is bad. Bad. When it's getting worse. You walk in here after years. I could have been dead. You could have been. And then you show up and you want me to just risk my life flying into the middle of the great northern nowhere to deliver you and some mystery metal case to some remote wilderness outpost. All because you walked in here and asked me to? Yes. Astrid, you can't bring him back. This isn't about that. I know how hard it's been. No. You don't know, Mackenzie. You don't know anything. You don't think I feel it too? Are you gonna take me or not? The longer I wait, the worse it'll get. Damn it. Look, I don't have time for this. Wait. The worse what will get? Why do I have a feeling you're not talking about the weather? Because I'm not... Throw your bags in the plane. I'll get started on pre-flight. Better buckle up tight, because it's going to be a rough ride. Let's see. Two people plus enough fuel to get us out to Great Bear and back leaves... Hmm. Almost no capacity for cargo. If we're too heavy, we'll burn through our fuel before we get there. I'll have to be careful about what else I take with me. All right. <clears throat> I guess, uh... <clears throat> I guess we're back at it. Wow. Man, what a story so far. I don't remember needing my parka this early in the season. It seems to get colder every year. What do we need? Water, energy, Astrid, the, the distress pistol kit is heavy. But with this Astrid traveling pretty light. Wait, we're just taking everything then? Yeah, I, I, I assume. Just all those items? I feel like I should be taking this parka, but it, it won't let me pick it up. Maybe I'll just put it on by default. Once we get on the boat. The boat. <laughs> once we get on the boat. <laughs> what the? Why is it hacksaw? Oh. That's interesting. Um, see, Shorty in there? Oh, she's already. I guess she's all good to go. Let me just look around real quick. Make sure we don't need anything else. Or have any other options to grab stuff? Grab the entire hot plate. You know. Hmm. Or what do you need? The whole hot plate. Yeah, I don't see anything else worth grabbing. Like I can't search anything. And those items just appeared, so I'm assuming those were the only items. Right? Let me hit J. Uh, select extra cargo. Load the gear into the plane. Okay, so let's go find the... Um, is this where I load it? Oh, my bad. Oh, that's interesting. I can only pick five items. Oh, emergency food, first aid kit. Well, we need the hard case. So do we drop the first aid kit or the emergency food? Based on my hand, I'm taking the hard case. But, oh. What's in this backpack? I'm going to do this. I'm, I... Hold up. Oh, I, I can I have to take both these. Oh, geez. So my thought process on the pistol, by the way, pistol. I can never find a pistol in this game, and I don't know if a distress pistol. I'm assuming that's just a flare. So I actually think we don't take that. I say we take first aid. That's my decision. That's my decision. First aid. I I I don't think we're gonna be able to use that pistol. It's a distress pistol, like a flare gun, so. SCR 
you're still wearing it. Huh? Wearing what? Your ring. Our ring. Oh. Yeah. I mean, uh, I just forgot to take it off. I wear mine too. Why? Memories, I guess. I thought you wanted to forget. Not all of it. Look. I, I should have looked for you. It's okay. I've kept busy. I've moved on. You sure? Because this all seems pretty familiar. You still working with that researcher, Doctor? What's his name? No. No, I'm not working at the center anymore. Well, then where? I'm working on my own. Freelance, you could say. Freelance doctor? That sounds legit. I don't question your life choices, Mackenzie. Plenty of things you could be doing besides hanging out in your dad's old plane and drinking in the daytime. Hey, we had a lot of good times in this plane. And it's under control. I know, okay? I'm not here to fight, really. I think about him all the time, you know? I know you do. But I did. The choice I made. I did it for us. You don't have to. Let's just not... No. It's important that you hear this. There's things I need to Mackenzie, say. Mackenzie, not now. There's... Just let me tell you. Will, shut up for a second. Something's wrong. That is not good. What's going on? Power's gone. The whole electrical system looks fried. Shit! What's happening? No power means we're going down. Hold tight. What the heck is going on? <laughs> what is going on? I'm so hyped. <laughs> what a good intro. Oh my gosh. Got a little tear in the eye. I'm so excited. This is so good. This is so good. Oh, geez. See, that's why I brought the first aid kit, by the way. Foreshadowing. It was that or like food, but I think uh, I need that hand. Oh. Must have gone right through the windshield. Wow. Trees broke my fall. Oh, mostly. Jeez, let me start grabbing stuff. No, you don't have time to break something down. Let's collect, though. No, you don't have time to break stuff down. Nope. What did I say like a million times? Nope. There's not stuff in those if you break them down, is there? Fingers feel numb. I'm gonna... I'm actually gonna... Wait, what? You're numb? I didn't realize how cold you were. Dude, there's like fire right here, man. I always got yelled at every time I used a book. So I'm gonna trust that you guys are right on this. And I'm gonna use a stick and not a book. In the normal playthrough, you guys are like, Josh, why are you using all your books? And I don't, I don't know why it matters, but I'm gonna trust your comments on that. And uh, get a fire going this way. And then I'll put some like uh, stuff in there. I don't know. I don't feel so good. I need to rest up. I can't rest though. Leap in the cave? Oh, this is a bed? That's not a bed. Um, I'm already gonna freeze to death. 
So, I'm gonna put everything I have and sleep for four. Ban bandage up your wound in the cave first. We found some cloth. Just go to sleep now. Oh, they don't even give you a certain amount of time. I was going to pick like four or five hours, but I I shouldn't have threw all my wood in the fire, I guess. Astrid hasn't come looking for me, which means she can't come looking for me. You should have some juice She's on you. Hurt. Or worse. A nice bevy. I'd better get back up to the crash site. How do you plan on getting up to the crash site, though? Oh, right here is the down tree. I think it's right here. I came from that direction, right? I'm assuming it's up this way. Let's start heading towards the uh, the crash site here. Let's see if we can go pop in and say hello to Astrid. On my way up, I'm grabbing as much stuff as possible. I'm going to hoard until I can't I carry more stuff. That. Board for now until I can't uh can't carry any more stuff. I think these are snackies. Are those berries? Mm -mm -mm. Dude, I can't do anything about your cold, honestly. I don't know how we're going to get them warm if we don't have clothes. It's kind of hoping that backpack had clothes in it, but I don't know the answer to that. Dude, you're going to make it. I think I'm going to make it like he isn't going to make it. That's not even on the table, dude. Are those berries not for food? I kind of thought they were. Can be used for tea that helps manage pain. Hmm, That actually isn't good. I guess we could start doing water, but I don't have like a cup or anything, so that won't help, right? We need a cup or something. We need some sort of uh, way to boil water and make some bevy. No bevy, no no light. Finally made it. Hello. You know what I regret bringing? My plane. Not sure which of us looks worse. Never been so poor girl. The first this aid isn't pack. How things were supposed to end. A couple band aids did the trick. Know what I need now? Food. I've been looking for you. Astrid's pack. Oh, did he auto equip it? He did. Good. Is he warm now? I was gonna say, don't open the case. I think you should respect her wants. Oh, can't open the case. Hmm. Locked. If she didn't want us to open up the case, let's respect case. it. Aspid was ready to die for it. I hope she I hasn't already died for it. I, I don't know if she was ready to die for it. Let's not go jump in the gun here. I think she just so happened to almost die for it. Not that she was ready to die for it. All right, let's let's relax with that. 
I'm sure she thought she could beat the storm just like you did, otherwise you wouldn't have gone out. Devil's advocate here. Bye. Not collecting my rose hip. She definitely passed through here, and in a hurry. And grab that? No. Sprinting can help you escape bad weather to or dangerous predators. Nice little intro. Once again, I'm still collecting these. Hopefully, we'll find a place to sleep soon. Hopefully, a little optimistic at this point, you know. No blood, though. That could be a good sign. Maybe she's not bleeding. Can rocks take out bunnies? Oh, okay, that directly hit the bunny. I'm giving up. Giving up. What's that? Hold up, what's that? I didn't see that. Someone's been here recently. Could it have been Astrid? Of course it was. Who else would have been? What? There's a little thing there. <laughs> Come on. Didn't we say this entire area is abandoned? Like, who else would have been here recently? Let's Astrid. not. Where did you go? Dude, I could, I could have, I could grab this thing. Oh, is that a wolf? I better keep my distance. Are you in pain right now? I can't tell. I'm assuming he's in pain or something. Like, why is he, like, losing all his health? I can take meds if you want. Are you in pain? Hypothermia. Oh, I can't help with hypothermia. Uh, maybe we have to start a fire. We're definitely getting a little dizzy at this point. I'm like kind of walking a little funny. Whoa. Looks like some kind of radio tower. I must be closer to civilization than I thought. Oh, am I burning a book? I didn't even look. I'm assuming I'm burning a book, but I'm going to freeze to death. I really don't care. I have to make sure I get this fire going ASAP. Come on. life out here Ooh. I didn't mean to take it Okay, well, that's not what I meant to do at all.
All I'm doing there is passing time so I can drink this water. Be hydrated. We only do water one more time. You know what? I mm, I just climbed down. I actually regret that. I didn't think. I, th I assumed I would have been warm by now. I'm like still hurt. I'm still cold. Maybe I should have had tea or something. I don't know. I'm like hurting, man. Nothing for me to eat. I still hear my heart beating. Yeah, I ain't doing that hot, am I? Do I need to climb up this? The answer is no, you don't need to climb up that. Too bad the frickin' I knew it. I knew it. The second I did it, I was like, yep, I'm going to hurt myself, aren't I? And I did. Of course I did. Oh, does that mean there's probably a dead animal over here? Nothing else, right? Feet. Nothing else. We have to head down. I gotta I gotta find a I, I see some beds down there. I'm gonna try and rush down there and get some sleep in me. And then I guess we'll probably call it an episode once I get there. I gotta get some rest. And hopefully find some food. Look. Smoke from that chimney. Yeah, 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 we're heading. That means someone's home. We'll search the rest Hello? of these another time. Anyone out there? Oh my god. What happened here? It's age to put stuff away. This whole area looks like it's been abandoned for a while. Trust this house where there's blood coming from it? I'm assuming no one's home. I think the guy who was home is currently laid up in the uh Hello? Anybody here? What hey. the Hey, wake up. Holy shit. Uh, wait! Whoa. Whoa! Hold your fire! Whoa! Whoa! Get back. What? Okay, okay. Just take it easy. Why are you here? I saw the smoke from your chimney. Outsider. Uh, what? <laughs> Thought so. Mainlander. Outsider. I don't recognize your voice. 
And you haven't left like the others. So, must be a mainlander. Someone who doesn't know any better. My plane, I, I crashed in the mountains nearby. I'm looking for someone who crashed with me. A friend. She might be injured. I haven't seen her. Uh, listen, could you maybe point that gun someplace else? You think? Because my eyes are covered, I can't see you. Make the wrong move. Say the wrong thing. You'll see how good a shot I am. I don't doubt it. The others are all gone. If you're here, things must be worse than they thought. Sitting here with a rifle in your hand. You expecting trouble? Trouble? Trouble fell me. You mean the storm? The bad men. The bad men came. Took my things. Tried to take my house. They thought they were safe. Because Grey Mother can't see. <laughs> they were wrong. Who are the bad men? The man, they, they passed through town. The night of the storm. The night of the lights. I'm looking for my friend. She crashed with me when my plane came down in the mountains. Do you think she could have come through and been caught? By these bad men? I can't say for sure. Is your friend a survivor? Yes, she is. Then there is always hope. The bad men, did they try to hurt you? Everyone thinks being old means you're weak, but they underestimated Grey Mother. It seems they did. I crashed without much food or gear myself. And if these bad men cleaned you out, we're gonna need to find some food and fuel, or neither of us is gonna make it through the next few days. You have any idea where we could find some supplies? The bad men took everything. And the others in town who would have helped me are gone. The ones left will have their own worries. It's up to you. Outsider. I'll do what I can, but I'll need your help. There must be somewhere in town to get food, fuel, the essentials. What about your friend? Aren't you in a hurry to find her? Yes, I am. And I'll be looking for signs of her. But there's a lot of ground to cover. And without gear, I won't make it. So while I'm looking for supplies, you see what you can remember about the Night of the Lights, and if she might have passed through town. That way, maybe we can help each other. Outsider, Grey Mother can't promise she can unlock the secrets in the dark cupboards of her mind. But she'll try. Thanks, Grey Mother. All right, guys, we call it there. Thank you, everyone, so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing. If you guys enjoyed the series, consider doing those things. I'll have more content up ASAP, but as you guys know, as usual, uh, there's a link to a playlist to the next couple episodes. If you guys are watching this, that's not day one. Day one, you guys are going to have to wait a few days. Um, I'll try and play through the entire <laughs> episonic adventure we have going on. But for now, y'all, I'll talk to you guys in those future episodes. Thanks for the love and support. See you, dudes.